So this is this. I don't see it as controversial. You were just brutally honest about this in the New York Post. And you talked about two or three things, and I, I want to unveil these for the audience who have not read the New York Post this morning. So basically, when you were the Jets coach, Mike Tannenbaum was his general manager. Right. It, it's, it's you didn't want Brett Favre. Okay, you're like, I don't want Brett Favre. Take my audience on the trip. How did it unveil itself? Well, when, when Brett became available, Mike started talking about it, and that wasn't the program we were on. We... we, we we weren't going to have someone who was bigger than the team. It was all about about having the the sum of the parts. And uh, in talking to Mike and then to to Woody, they both wanted to make this move. They they thought it was a good move in terms of opening a new stadium, creating excitement. Oh, great! All the things non-football that, stuff. All, all those things, and it wasn't something that that I wanted to do. Um, but as we talked it through. What he's feeling and what he what he had talked to, to me about is no matter what happens, 0-16, didn't really matter. We were going to get back to the program. This was an experiment. This is something we were going to do that was for the good of the organization. But then we were going to get back to to the van, to the the vision, the plan, and and the the things that we had we had committed to. So basically, he said, "Don't worry what happens. I won't fire you." Yeah, and and as we talked as, as we talked through it, and I agreed to it. Once I was on board. I was on board, and it was it was full go to get Brett Favre in, but at the time, it it wasn't it wasn't who we were, and it wasn't what I was committed to, and what we were organizationally committed to. And I remember Lavernius Coles calling me out on it, saying, "Look, Eric, this isn't this isn't what you've been telling us. This isn't what what we are." Um, so this and and look, don't get me wrong. I I really enjoyed coaching Brett Favre, and I really like Brett Favre. That's right. But this talking is- about that decision. Okay, it wasn't this is we where were... owners kill coaches. So my takeaway is, if I had a staff and I told my staff, this is how we're going to do our show, The Herd. A lot of football, a lot of NBA, stay in the big stories. And then my boss decides, you know, we're going to go away from that. He forces me to adhere to something that I don't believe in. I have to go to my staff, and they, I look like an idiot. So in the end, your players who bought into you early the drafting was good. The players liked you. You got some momentum. Essentially, you lost your swag to the players. Look, Brett came in and did some good things. So there, there are some positives with that. But it, the, what, what we had said, what we had done, every, every decision that we had made was to support the vision and the plan and the, the, uh, the way that we were going to operate. And that, that was to be a complete team not just a group of select stars around Brett and, Favre, and, yeah. and look when you bring in a guy like Brett you bring in everything that comes with Brett all the the hype the excitement and there was a, a ton of that and and again I I have to say I, I really enjoyed coaching Brett and I like him personally but it just it wasn't who we were it wasn't what we were building for which was the long term our decisions were long term did decisions. you feel like when Tannenbaum and this is another big you know, relationship. So Tannenbaum was your guy, right? So Tannenbaum and you were lockstep. Then Woody gets the Tannenbaum, and then Tannenbaum comes to you. Did you feel on that first drive home, you call your wife, did you feel like, I'm on an island here? My guy just tricked me. No, the, the, I didn't have that relationship where where I felt tricked. It, things were on the table, and, and we talked about it honestly, and we talked about the pluses and the minuses. It wasn't... It wasn't uh, it, it wasn't that. I think at the end of the season, when I got let go, you know, things changed from those early conversations, and that's where it was, you know, you wish you had a conversation after the season about all the things that we had done and where we were headed prior to, you know, them making the decision that they made. 